Hi everyone and welcome to this short tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can connect Envoy to your own Bitcoin node. When interacting with the Bitcoin network you must do so through a node. If you are not doing so through your own node then you are using someone else's to do this. When using someone else's node there is a small level of trust placed in that personal entity with regards to your privacy. Whoever is running that node can see some transactional information being requested from it. By default, Envoy connects to the foundation server. This enables those users without their own node to transact simply and without the technical burden of even having to understand what a node is. We mitigate the privacy implication of this setup by defaulting all connections over the Tor network, meaning that foundation does not see any IP addresses or related personal information. However, intermediate or advanced users already running their own node may not want to use the foundation server at all. Fortunately, we've built Envoy to communicate with Bitcoin nodes using the Electrum server software, which comes packaged with all of the popular node implementations. Electrum servers offer performant wallet recoveries, imports, and fairly simple connection solutions. And I'm gonna show you the steps required for this now. Before I start, it's worth noting that whilst the information required to connect to your own Electrum server is similar across all node implementations, the way in which this information is accessed and the way it might be displayed to you will be unique to each implementation. Some will have a QR code that you can scan, whilst others will have a text string that you need to copy across to your phone. We built Envoy to try and interpret all of the common formats used by the most node implementations. In the event that Envoy cannot determine the information required, I'm going to show you how you can manually enter that information into Envoy. Let's get started. So on Envoy, I'm just going to click the drop down menu and then I'm going to head to settings. Then I'm going to toggle on the custom Electrum server. And then we have two options. We can either manually type in or paste the required information or we can click the scanner on the right hand side of the text entry box. So the simplest way to do so, if your node implementation offers a QR code for you to scan, is to just tap the scanner, which will open the camera on Envoy. And then you can just scan the QR code being displayed by your node implementation. Envoy will then automatically connect. But let's suppose that your node implementation doesn't offer a QR code. For example, Ronin Dojo or Raspberry Blitz. What we're going to need to do is navigate to the relevant menu within that node implementation. As I touched on earlier, they will be slightly different as to how you access that. And then we just need to copy the text string provided and pass that securely over to our phone. To enter that into Envoy, I can just tap into the text box and paste from my clipboard and Envoy will then connect. But let's suppose you're running an implementation that isn't mentioned on screen or a custom node that doesn't have a custom pairing URL like we've just seen with the Raspberry Blitz example. You can still pair Envoy to that type of server. All you need to do is paste in the onion address provided by your Electrum server. And then at the start of the string, you need to add TCP colon slash slash. And then at the end of the string, you need to add colon followed by the Electrum server port which typically is 5001. Once a custom Electrum server has been specified using any of the methods that I've just shown, Envoy will never fall back to the default foundation server unless the custom Electrum server toggle is switched off. This means that if you connect Envoy to your own node, and then that node subsequently experiences some technical difficulties that may result in you not being able to successfully transact using that node. In this situation, it's best to reach out to the technical support of your chosen node implementation. Otherwise, you can toggle the custom Electrum server off and use the default server to transact. 